busted 24 night miss that I found on TikTok. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to subscribe and use code now in the Fortnite item shop. All right, let's go bust some myths. Myth number one, you can raise your teammate whilst inside of a car. So I've got an IO car here. I'm going to drive it right up next to the van here. And if I get in the other seat, I'm meant to be able to raise you. Okay, the button's there. Maybe I got to make it a different button because it's the same button as get out. <laughs> Wait, what? Oh my God. All right, well, this is misconfirmed. You can reboot your teammate whilst inside of a car and you get all the protection. Hey, welcome back, Gally. Myth number two, Clombo can launch pad. So I saw on TikTok a clip of Clombo launch padding and I wanted to see if this was true or not. So we got the big boy himself here and all I'm going to do is I'm going to try and find a flat area. So we're gonna, this might take a little while. And we need to try and get a launch pad down in front of it. Hey, you're walking on a bit of a weird angle here. I can't really launch pad you. Wait, here, bang, okay. Bruh. I, 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 okay. He just instantly broke the launch pad. He didn't even give it a go. This is myth busted. Clombo cannot launch pad, but that'd be pretty cool if he could. Myth number three, you can med mist a teammate whilst you're in the back of a car. So the first thing that I'm going to need is to get in a sedan. All right, so let's say, for example, I do have a teammate right now. I, I'm pretty lonely. I've got no friends. I'm not going to lie. If we hop in the back of the truck and say, for example, we've got someone that's, you know, driving us around. Apparently, I'm meant to be able to med mist them. So if I left click, it heals me. But if I right click, oh, okay. Well, that is myth confirmed. You can actually med mist out the side of a window. That's pretty good if you're rotating in zone and you need to heal up the boy. Myth number four, if you launch out into a rift, you will go double the height that you normally go. So the first thing I'm going to do is shove down a marker and let's jump into a normal rift. Let me go 175 meters into the air. Now let's go into another rift and try and launch pad this time. Okay, so let's get ourselves a launch pad. Make sure we line it up directly underneath this. Just like so, we'll break the tree. Just make sure nothing gets in the way. All right, let's see. 175 meters is the number to break. All right, bang. And no, it's the exact same height. This is myth busted. Using a launch pad into a rift does not send you any higher. Myth number five, if you throw a chug splash onto a bird and then shoot it, it will go invisible. So I'm going to build up a massive ramp so we can get a crow to spawn. And then we're going to chug splash it and see if this works. I've got no idea why this is even a myth, but hey, I'm here to try it. Okay, so we built up. Hopefully a crow will spawn on this ramp soon. So apparently if I chug splash this bird, I throw him a chug splash and then shoot him, he's meant to disappear. He's just flying away. He's not disappearing. Okay, let's try it again. Chug splash. And bang. No, they fly away, but they do not disappear. So this is myth busted. Crows do not disappear if you chug splash them. <laughs> myth number six. You can put a Drake's map inside of a tent. All right, so I've got myself a Drake's map right here. And now let's see. Can I shove this inside of a tent? Nope. All right. No, you cannot. So this is myth busted. You cannot store a map inside of a tent. And honestly, it would be a little bit overpowered if you could. Myth number seven, impulse bows can instantly break an armored wall. So they've unfortunately vaulted bows, but if you still manage to have one in your tent, you can still use them. So we're going to chuck down some armored walls. Apparently, if I use my bow, I should just go flying straight through it. That would have been nice to know. All right, well, that is myth confirmed. Bows do break armored walls, and I wish I knew this when they were in the game. Myth number eight, if you hit someone mid-air with an impulse bow, they will stop flying. So I've got Kelly flying up in the air, and let's see. Three, two, one. One, go. Oh, that's cool. All right, well, that is myth confirmed. You can stop someone gliding with a bow. Myth number nine, you can boogie bomb Clombo. So I've seen a TikTok of Clombo hitting a little Nene while being boogie bombed, and I want to see if it is true or not. So I've got boogie bombs in the unvaulted game mode, and let's see if he'll dance. Three, two, one, go. Mate, okay, Clombo doesn't care, dude. He's got, he, he, he ain't busting any moves out. So this is myth busted. This does not work. Myth number 10, you can Spider-Man onto a rocket launcher. So obviously we all know about normal rocket rides. You, you shoot a rocket, your homie jumps on it and you go flying. Supposedly you're meant to be able to go flying by yourself using a Spider-Man. So let's shoot this up in the air and grab our Spider-Man and oh my God. <laughs> Myth confirmed, you can Spider-Man onto an RPG. Unfortunately, RPGs aren't in the normal game, but hey, if they ever come back, at least we know we can do this. <laughs> Myth number 11, you cannot put gas inside of a tent. So obviously you can put just about anything inside of a tent, but supposedly you can't put gas cans inside of your tent for whatever reason. So I've got a gas can here and let's see. Equip a stashable item. So no, this is myth confirmed. You can't put a gas can inside. That is very odd. I don't know why you can't do that. Myth number 12, you can play as a shark inside of Fortnite. So the first thing I need to do is catch myself a shark. Yay! All right, so now that we've got the shark, apparently all I need to do is jump and then it should glitch and make it so I can I, I can play as the shark. And randomly, it'll take me under the water. I, I've got no idea how I'm meant to do this. The TikTok I saw, he could literally control the shark. And he did it right around here. He jumped, 
And then he, he could literally just play as a shark. Well, I'm, I'm not I'm not getting any of this. Nah, okay. I think if this was a glitch, I can't do it anymore. Since this myth busted, you can no longer play as a shark. Myth number 13. If I use a chili chug splash and swim into this Spider-Man, I am meant to go flying across the map. So first thing I need to do is chili chug splash myself, get a little bit of a run up, and then jump straight into the spider web, and I'm meant to just go absolutely flying. All right, and bang. I mean, I went. I don't know if it was about like across the entire map, but that was that was pretty far. We'll give it another go. Whee! I mean, dude, you do go flying. It's definitely not across the entire map, but you you can get up an entire hill. So I'm gonna say I'll say myth confirmed, but it, it's it's a little underwhelming. I'm not gonna lie. Myth number 14, if you light a campfire and then run away, it will stay lit forever. So let's light this bad boy, put down a launch pad and fly away from it. Because sometimes I'll be in a game and I see this. So I've got a feeling this one might be true. I don't know what the normal time it takes for a campfire to go out is, but we're going to sit here and see if this thing stays lit forever. All right, it's been like a good 30 seconds. I feel like I should be going out anytime soon. I don't know. That, that's looking pretty lit to me. All right, well, this is myth confirmed. If you light a campfire and run away from it, it will stay lit forever. Myth number 15, you can kill your teammates with fireflies. So obviously we all know back in the day you could kill people with guns. You could just straight up shoot them and bang, dead. Anyway, now you can't. Team damage is disabled, but supposedly fireflies still burn your teammates for whatever reason. So I've got Callie here uh, and I'm about to make burn flopper. All right, three, two, one, go. Is he burning? Oh, wait, you're actually taking damage. Burn fish, burn. Burn fish, burn. All right, well that is myth confirmed. You can still cook your teammates alive for whatever reason. Myth number 16, if you put a gas can on top of a pizza, you are meant to be able to fly. So, the first thing we need to do is build up. I don't have a lot of materials, so I'm going to just build up a little bit. Let's chuck down a flat, throw down our pizza, and then I'm going to stand to the side just like so. Put the gas can on top of it, and now I'm meant to fly. Wait, what? Oh my god. All right, well, this is myth confirmed. You can fly on a gas can. Myth number 17, if you spider web right before Clombo shoots you up with his blowhole, apparently you are meant to get redeployed. All right, so let's jump on Clombo's blowhole and right before he shoots us up, we're meant to... Oh, okay, that that seems harder than it's meant to be. Gotta walk onto his blowhole and now right before he shoots us, we do like that, I think. That, that looked pretty decent. Okay, now let's build up and let's see, have we got redeployed? Okay, no, I do not. So that is myth busted. Spider manning right before Clombo launches you does not give you redeploy. Myth number 18, if you edit a shield keg down onto a pickup truck, it will say. So I've obviously tried this myth just by throwing the shield keg like this onto the front of a truck and it's never worked. I've tried it twice and it hasn't worked. So this is the final time that I'm going to be trying this. We're going to place it right here, perfectly above the truck. And then apparently if I edit this down, it's meant to stay. Oh, hold on. Okay, it, it's there. If I drive, does it stay? Oh my god, it's a miracle. Myth confirmed. You can actually do this to keep a shield keg on the front of the truck. <laughs> I'm amazed. Myth number 18, I can hit 2 million subscribers. I don't know the answer to this one. This myth is completely up to you. So if you want to help, make sure to subscribe now.